Hey, my name is Bob Cavula. I was an airline pilot and Navy pilot for 38 years. I started flying in 1960, retired in 1998. My book contains just basic stories about my incidents flying, the, the people I flew, the emergencies I've had, the places I've been, and I, I just hope through the book you'll enjoy them. As a pilot, you're looking to always better yourself. One landing should be better than the previous one, and vice versa. Also, you look at uh, your uh, weather, passenger comfort, and what have you. People say, hey, well, aren't you afraid of all those people in the back of the airplane? And I say, heck no, I'm worried about me, number one. If I get there safely, they get there safely. The training you receive teaches you how to cope with various emergencies. Sometimes uh, it's not in the book and you have to improvise. One time especially, I had an emergency where I lost all my electrical systems on an airplane while I was still on the ground, but I knew I couldn't stop the airplane in the length of the runway with, without the, assist of, the assistance of the electrical supplies. So I elected to take off. It was bad weather at night and the tower thought I crashed and they called my company up and told me I had crashed somewhere off the end of the runway. Because of the weather and what have you, I tried to stay below the clouds, which were very low at the time, circle around and come back and land. We finally got one generator working for landing, which was a big improvement in that I had many multiple ways to stop the airplane rather than just with air brakes. For those that want to become a pilot, I did it the cheapest way possible, and that was to become a Navy pilot. I, I applied for Navy pilot training. I was accepted. And if the initial training took approximately two years until I reached the fleet uh, to uh, use your airplane as a weapon or for reconnaissance work. Previous to uh, my pilot training, I studied to be first a physicist and then an engineer, and I would have probably wound up someplace working in a company at a desk or in now and then nowadays at a computer and I wanted something a little bit different, a little bit outside the frame of normal work and trying to see as much of the world as possible. In my book there are some of some surprises are some of the passengers I've flown. I've flown both the president's wife, Jackie Kennedy, I've, I've flown his brother, Teddy Kennedy, and I've flown major sports officials and I've also flown the astronauts, several of the astronauts have flown with me. We would reposition the astronauts for the shuttle flight at around the world stations. At these stations, let's say Rota Spain, which was one of them, they would have a pilot of the space shuttle available to assist the pilot in the space shuttle because of the amount of material that has to be covered and to assist in any type of emergency landing. I retired from TWA in 1998. I started with TWA in May of 1965. They sent me initially to training as a relief pilot on the 707. And I went, went through various Boeing airplanes from the 707 up through the 767. Also the Convair 880 and the DC-9. Management was pretty, I, I should say, fairly respectable of us. First off, you came with a considerable amount of intelligence and experience, and then they were, they were interested in providing you the best possible help to get you situated with the airline. The training is very expensive. Even a simulator, you're talking one to two thousand dollars an hour just to sit in the simulator. And if they can save some time through efficiency and your suggestions, they'll go ahead and do it. I'll have the book is available on Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. It comes electronically soft cover or hard cover. Also, it may be available in other bookstores throughout the nation. I do know that it's on the internet in Australia, and I assume and with that it's also on the internet in Europe.